it enters through the lungs and the sinuses and and people often think about just the the organ that might be making the most noise maybe yeah. the lungs or maybe the sinuses the, the upper respiratory tract but but these particles actually enter the rest of the body and and we see higher inflammatory cytokines on the lab so there's actually this systemic effect on the patient so i can imagine that it must contribute to long COVID, especially if somebody already has long COVID, I imagine it would exacerbate it. That's exactly the kind of labs that I saw. If you think about MMP9 and TGF-beta, these are complex uh, inflammatory cytokines, but their truth is they drive autoimmunity and they drive inflammation. So in my mind, there's no doubt that say you had wildfires and then you got COVID, you, it would exacerbate your immune dysfunction and inflammation. Um, and it's very likely and plausible that someone who got COVID right in the midst of the fires would be in such a weakened state. They may be more prone to long-term effects of the COVID as well. Right. In fact, I'm actually seeing a lot of autoimmunity in young people that I didn't see before. I'd say that I didn't see prior to fire season or prior to the pandemic. So people with more um, ulcerative colitis or Crohn's and, and sudden onset. Yes. Yes. Right? Or, or Hashimoto's, of course, that's mm -hmm. been around for a long time, I think, due to the, a combination of infections and toxins, but definitely I'm seeing more of it post this pandemic and, and fire season year. And okay. even if we're checking, like, I'm sure you are as well, like antiphospholipid antibodies or anti-cardiolipid and some of the markers into lupus. And sometimes it, as you and I know, but for those listeners, you might have an ANA positive or an anti-cardiolipid positive, but not a lot of symptoms. And so you're kind of like walking in that doorway towards autoimmunity. We know there's immune dysfunction and it's probably just a matter of time, unless you see one of us and reverse it or right. whatever. But we see, like for me, I see a lot more of those markers post COVID, even in someone for me, for example, April of this year, I had COVID and pretty significantly, it wasn't bad symptoms, but I, I did have some symptoms that lasted a little bit. And for a few months, my anti-cardiolipin and my ANA were positive and then they went negative. So it's like this blip in autoimmunity. And I think it's really common, even if you're not symptomatic. 